So welcome back to another episode of Fresh and Fleet. This is the video series called History Before the Hype. So this piece actually is gonna surround the 1998 Taco Bell dog t-shirt. Cause I grew up with the Taco Bell dog and Taco Bell was the shizness. Yo quiero Taco Bell. So now the ad campaign for the Taco Bell dog actually lasted all the way from September 1997 to July of 2000. The dog was actually voiced by Carlos Alas Rocky. He is actually Garcia from Reno 911, if you guys remember that show. So let's get back into the history of it. A lot of people do remember and love the Taco Bell dog, but don't realize that the Taco Bell dog that was a guy I was actually a girl. The Taco Bell dog was actually a dog named Gidget. Now the crazy thing was Gidget was not actually casted as the Taco Bell dog originally. She was actually casted as the girlfriend of the Taco Bell dog and at the last minute she was replaced in and it worked out. Now, this was 1997 and at the time this was the pinnacle of the burger wars. Yes so many burger places you guys know and love were doing so many ad campaigns to top each other. Who was the best? Who's got the tastier bite? You know what's up. I'm getting hungry thinking about it. So the Taco Bell dog actually had a catchphrase. It was Yo Quiero Taco Bell. Yo Quiero Taco Bell. That catchphrase Yo Quiero Taco Bell became such a pop culture icon that the popularity of the Taco Bell dog ensued and so much more came out of it. This is where you get the Taco Bell figures and all of the good stuff that went along with it. I mean, you guys gotta love these. If you guys see them in the thrift store once in a while, this is where the popularity came through. And because of the figures, a lot more catchphrases were implemented in, like Drop the Chalupa. Drop the Chalupa! Yeah, Drop the Chalupa. Or Viva Gordita. Viva, Viva Gorditas! Gordita. And this might come down to the bigger Taco Bell dog that I've never seen before and actually found out at the thrift store. And another cool crossover that happened in 1998 was actually a Godzilla crossover with Taco Bell. In the commercial, the dog tries to trap Godzilla in like a box and he goes, here, lizard, lizard, lizard. But realizes how big Godzilla is, and this is where another crossover happens from Jaws, which is. I think I need a bigger box. Now in July of 2000, this is when Taco Bell actually ended its ad campaign with the Taco Bell dog. And because of this, there were so many rumors that came about about what happened to the dogs, Taco Bell not making enough money. There was even talk about Latin America did not like the Taco Bell dogs, you know, accent and ways portraying Hispanic people in general. Finally, it came down to the rumor that the dog had just passed away. The reality was Taco Bell was looking into another direction and they went with it. After 2000, coming down to three years later, this is 2003, Taco Bell had some scandal going on. They had a court case against two guys from Michigan that actually said they came up with a Chihuahua dog and they actually brought it to Taco Bell and Taco Bell never gave them anything for their pitch. Crazy enough, the court case went through and Taco Bell lost $30.1 million. That is just crazy. Now that's enough for the Taco Bell business side. What I really want to know, probably what everybody wants to know also, is what happened to Gidget the dog, the lovable Chihuahua that we all know and love. Now with losing the Taco Bell campaign, Gidget was still moving forward. In 2002, she actually showed up in a Geico commercial. Well, hello. Oh, great, a talking gecko. And even in 2003, Legally Blonde 2, you may remember her as Bruce. Mom. Now, sadly, Gidget actually passed away in July 21st of 2009 at the rightful age of 15 years old. Now, at the time hearing the passing, Taco Bell actually let out a statement saying they were deeply sorry and that she will be forever missed by fans everywhere. And this is where I come down to it. Gidget the dog or the Taco Bell dog is such a big part of pop culture as, as well as a lot of these pieces you find it brings another part of history even your childhood even everything else coming back to you and it's just a different feeling. The Taco Bell dog really does have a real big place in my heart because this is when I was getting a little older and, and more things happen in your mind and you start remembering a certain time or place and this is where I gotta say Gidget you will be missed. And with that, you guys say thank you guys for watching. This is another history for the hype. If you guys enjoyed it and you learned something, please do drop the like. And with that, I'm just gonna say what I always say. Hit that sub button because more videos are coming. This was Mick from Fresh from the Flea.